channel. We are in Portugal right now. Portugal is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover for some of this video because to my dismay, my microphone was not working for the rest of the Portugal content, which I had a little cry about. It's very disappointing. But this is a Grand California 600 from Siesta Campers. Amazing small company. Highly recommend if you're wanting to go to Portugal or Spain. I'm going to give you the ins and outs of this vehicle. A big reason I like this van is because it's very like futuristic looking. And you guys know how much I like cyberpunk. And it looks like a spaceship. Also, whenever you open the door, this um, step slides right out every time to help you step up into the van. It also has a full seat on that right here. So you can leave the door open even while you're sleeping. Just you can have views while you're cooking as the kitchen is right beside the door. And right here is the lights. And this is the fridge, which has pretty good space. I've never had a fridge in a conversion, so it was very luxurious for me. It has two different slide outs and then it even has a freezer. And what we learned about the fridge is that it turns itself on and off to conserve energy, which you're always trying to conserve energy and water and not fill the tanks up too fast whenever you're doing van life. I'm going to start up here, just the dash. This was a learning curve for me to learn how to drive, but it actually drives really, really easily. So um, it wasn't so bad. I've never driven such a big vehicle, but it drives really nice. So I had no problems. Um, you know, I'm a little scared driving in cities, but other than that, it's cool. Up here we have storage. So we just have a bunch of stuff up here. And then there's storage, storage. We have a nice table and these chairs, and I can demonstrate, actually swivel around. This swivels around. More storage and charging down there. This is the panel where you can check everything. So you can check your battery, which ours kind of needs charge, it's 30%. Um, and you can check your water levels, which ours definitely need emptied, but fresh water, gray water. So here we have the full kitchen. I already kind of showed you the fridge, but this is what it looks like from here. You can have a little bit more counter space to pull out right there if you need it. And then right here, you got a full freezer. And you really can't beat the kitchen views. You get a full view of the ocean. This is the, you open both these up whenever you're cooking. And it's two burners, it's like a sink. We have um, two ports here and then another light switch. So this is hooked up to gas, so this is a gas stove. And then the gas also is used for heating. So here, you know, we have our stuff in here, but you have your silverware, all that. And then I like this feature because whenever you're doing van life you always have to consider that things move around and drawers will swing open so this actually locks it which is a great feature and we have plates we have a teapot right here we have a full-size bathroom which is very rare in a camper van but this one has one and uh, it's been really really luxurious and nice for me it also has like a full bed um, this is how the bathroom looks like this I'll show you the inside of the bathroom door and then the light automatically comes on. So right here, we have the sink, which you go like this, and it also has hot and cold water. And this can also be used as a shower. So you can put that up in that and use that as a shower. Go like this, then you have it on that side. Then you have your storage up here and then little pegs to hang things up on. Toilet, use this, you push that, fills with water and then to flush it, you just put this over, and that's usually how a lot of small area toilets work. And then again, more storage right here. Then we go into the bedroom. Me and my friend Layla have been sharing this bed and it's been plenty big enough for both of us. And it's really comfortable. That right here, you can lock the van while you're in bed and you remember, oh yeah, I need to lock it for the night. We have tons of storage up here. This is like a spaceship. And I'm gonna open the back too so you can see. Up here we have some seasonings and random stuff. Then, you know, over here, you put in your clothes, my makeup bag, and it's just storage. And there's also a charging port right here so I can have my fan on and I can sleep right beside the window and wake up to the ocean. My favorite thing to do here is back this up and have a sea view and open up the doors and it's so beautiful for the awning. 
This is the back side where you're going to get the most storage. I have my suitcase, I have a table in here, and then there's even pockets on the sides right here for two chairs. This is where you're going to get the most of your storage, and there is also an outside shower, which is really nice if you get dirty and you don't want to be dirty inside of the van, so you can just rinse yourself off with this shower right here. And then back here is where the gas tank is stored for the heating and cooking, and it does smell like gas, but only if you open it. On the outside, you can just see that it has the windows, and I'll show you how to open those. Back window. You can see the lovely sea that we're just chilling on. There's also a little counter here outside with charging ports and also USB ports, which is really handy. You can open up and it's nice because they have a bug screen or when you're sleeping they have a blackout curtain. So this completely blacks out all the light and they have this on all of the windows, which is so nice. Even the top skylight up here, you can do that, which is very convenient as well. Very futuristic. Like, look at this. It looks like a spaceship, doesn't it? We're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to do the awning. So that is a full tour of the Grand California 600 for single female travel in Portugal anyways. It's been a great van so far and I hope you enjoyed this. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Stay extraterrestrial. Bye!